But we have got to talk about Craven DeFlava, who is outside on our outdoor uh, cookie set. Chelsea, tell us what they're going to be making today. Yes, Michael, yeah. we're is so excited. We've got Jalisa Maria with us. She is with Craven DeFlava, and we're so excited to have you. This is your first time on Studio 10. It is. It yeah, is. how you feeling this morning? I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready. I'm ready for y'all to taste the flavor, girl. Ready. Oh, I am so excited. She said that our staff needs to come hungry because she's got a lot of food to feed us this morning and you guys have actually been working on a finished product it looks absolutely amazing so what are we doing today all right Chelsea so we have um, chicken breast here it's already been marinated in our house seasoning we're gonna take about two big handfuls of that chicken mm -hmm. we're gonna put a little baby oil as they call it but it's vegetable oil <laughs> to get that chicken searing. Yum, well it smells so good and of course we're making hibachi so it's gonna have that that sound that you love when you go to the hibachi restaurant. So while that's cooking, Julie, so tell me how you got started with Craven the Flavor and where this inspiration came from. Um, well, I come from a big family. We all like to eat, everybody cooks. Um, my aunt had me in the kitchen at an early age, baking cake. She would always tell me, take your time, one egg at a time. So this is how basically it it all started. It, I was born into it. It's, it's a family thing. It's in my soul. So we specialize in soul food, but we provide other cuisines as well. So that's how you're getting the hibachi today. Yeah, so if people want to contact you, maybe they have an event coming up or something like that. Um, is it a food truck? Are you a restaurant? How does it work? We are a food truck, mm -hmm. um, but we are not limited to anything. We serve steak, lamb, hibachi, the birria tacos that are famous for us. Um, just everything. Oh, that sounds so good. So if someone wants to contact you or find you, do you guys have a Facebook page or social media? Absolutely. They can look us up um, on Facebook as Craving the Flavor. Um, they can book us through there. There's my telephone number is listed as well, mm -hmm. or they can, you know, 251-234-4421 is where they can reach us. Um, send me a message. I'll be sure to get back with you as soon as I can. That's right, and she's going to continue to work on this chicken, which smells so good. She's got a team of ladies here to help her. They're doing a fantastic job this morning on the show. When we come back with Michael, what are we going to be doing next? When we come back with Michael, Julie, so what are we going to be doing next? Woo. I know you good. <laughs> <laughs> you did okay. good. Um, <laughs> when we when we come back we, with Michael, we, we can we start. <laughs> um, I guess we can start trying to plate it up. I'll go ahead on and try to get this chicken. All rushed, right, rushed you guys. Well, we are going chance. to continue that next on Studio Ten. You want to stick around and try out these soul hibachi bowls, Michael. <laughs> I wanted to say, Chelsea, quit asking her. The, the, the place is on fire. I'm looking forward to going out there and trying, uh, and trying some of that food. It looks like it's going to be fantastic. And welcome back into Studio 10. We are out here on our outdoor kitchen set with Jalisa Maria. And we are there with Craven De Flava making the hibachi soul bowl. So, Jalisa, what have we been up to since Chelsea was out here earlier? So, Michael, we have um, been cooking these steak and the chicken breast. We've got it all caramelized, all cooked, golden brown. So, it's done. We're going to scoot this over to the side. We have our shrimp grilled and charred. Ooh. We're going to scoot this over. We've got our onions charred as well. It smells fantastic. We're going to take some of our rice. Okay. Ooh. That's the good stuff right there. Yeah, I was just about to say That's that. The compound butter. This is what we get all of our flavor from. Now, for people who aren't familiar with Craven de Flava, you guys are not an actual restaurant, right? You're a food truck? We are a food truck. Tell us more detail about that. Um, so our food truck, we're not your typical food truck. We don't do hot dogs. We don't do um, hamburgers or funnel cakes. We provide um, meals that families would want to, you know, eat on a daily basis, which is, you know, fulfilling for their children okay. as well. We serve steak, lamb. Um, we do the hibachi bowls. We do birria tacos on Tuesdays. And Fridays is one of our busiest days. It's our soul food day. So on Fridays, we have at least five different meats spread across our steam tables. We do ro uh, roast, we do oxtails, baked chicken, fried chicken, smothered pork chops, mac and cheese, candy yams, collard greens, cornbread, all this in one day. So you can definitely get um, the best bang for your buck on Friday. Well, we're going to go ahead and end the show, and I'm going to go to their food truck, and we're going to eat some of that soul food.
No, we still got more time to go in the show, but I wanted to just go ahead and get us off the air now so you could take me to the truck and get me some of that soul food because it sounds delicious. Let's go. <laughs> now, um, for people who aren't familiar with a uh, with a hibachi bowl, what all goes into that? All righty, Mike, I'll show you here. So we have the fried rice, of course. Okay. And we have the chicken and the steak, your protein and your shrimp. Okay. And this is what I finished product oh, looks like. Wow. We top it off with our house yum sauce. We have the fried rice, the chicken steak, shrimp, and it's served with our summer salad since it's summer now. We have all the fresh berries. <laughs> Everything is sweet and ripe these days. So, And we top that off with our um, house poppy seed dressing. Oh, that is fantastic. Now, uh, what are the uh, what are the hours uh, of the of the food truck? For now, we're open Tuesdays and Fridays from four to seven. We're at seventy thirty three Airport Boulevard in the Fortis College parking lot. So, right, Fortis College parking lot, and I'm assuming once you get in the parking lot, you can't miss the food truck. Absolutely not. It should not. be right there. Yes. And uh, Tuesdays and Fridays, and are you guys thinking, you know, if uh, the business really continues to boom, you might expand to other days? Absolutely, absolutely. Once the summer months roll in, we will be opening up more days including lunch time oh yeah get that lunch rush now if people want more information on um on uh, a craving to flavor do you guys have a social media account or a website people can go to we do we do they can look us up um on facebook um it's craving the flavor and they can email us on there and message us text us and i'm usually pretty quick with responding back Fantastic. And Tuesdays and Fridays, that is when you need to go, need to, go to that Fortis College parking lot and look for this food truck because they have Bobby. got it all. Mm -hmm. This hibachi symbol, which already looks fantastic, it's just one of several dishes you can get from this establishment. And we're going to put information on this at on Craven de Flava on Fox10TV.com, right under the Studio 10 tab. Now, when Chelsea comes back for the third and final segment, and oh, that egg, oh, that thing looks so, she had to put the egg on there. It looks so good. <laughs> When we finish this up in the last segment, what can we expect to see? You will expect to see the finished product and you'll be able to taste the flavor. I love that. Now, if that, <laughs> is that a tagline or is that a tagline? <laughs> you'll be able to taste the flavor. I love it. Thank you so much for being with us, ladies, and we'll see you back with Chelsea in just a few minutes. All righty. All right, Chelsea, back to you. This is it. This is the finale, you guys, here with Jalisa Maria with Craven de Flava. And I'm so excited. If you're just now joining us, she is making this hibachi soul bowl. And it's so, so beautiful. Tell me what you got, what you've done so far. Okay, so we've cooked this fried rice. Mm -hmm. We added our egg. We added our scallions, our season, our sesame oil, the soy sauce. We've added everything to it. So now it's time to get this baby plated. Uh-huh. We're going to start off with a big heaping of rice. We're going to build this bowl up. Up. Everything is big on our truck. All of our plates are always full. They're very plentiful. Now, so folks can come see your food truck if you're just now joining us this morning. When So this is what they get when they order it. This is what they get. Ah, <laughs> That's amazing. This. this looks awesome. So we've got the fried rice there. She's been making that. I'm really excited to dry that. I will say I snuck a piece of chicken and our photographer Mick has been sneaking food too, which I'm a little <laughs> upset about, but it was delicious. I can't be mad at him. All righty. So what we're doing now, we're adding our protein. You've got chicken breast, mm -hmm. you have your shrimp, and you've got some filet mignon. We feed our customers the good stuff. Sister, this looks so good. So while you're building that, you have a sous chef with you, with you this morning too, so tell me about her. This is mm -hmm. Tremisha. Um, she actually started off as one of our customers, mm -hmm. and um, it, we were packed one day, and uh -huh. uh, she said, hey, I've got a food handler's card. I know a little bit. I said, girl, hop on hop right on she hopped in and she just took charge she knew exactly what to do she came in right on time and she's been with us ever since um, I'm very grateful with her she's very good with our customers she just knows the business so well now yeah. with such a short period of time now what I did now here Chesley this mm -hmm. is our um, house made yum yum sauce mm. it's sweet it's savory it gives that that meat a little bit of a bite. That's right. Add some of this. Every chef uses this. This is the good stuff. Look, everybody Paprika? think you. Paprika? Yes, but they think you gotta have it. It That's doesn't right. taste like anything, but watch how it makes this color pop. Yum, that looks so delicious. Yes. And finally? 
the parsley got it those one look those two things there i think every chef uses it all right y'all i've got my pork ready no, because okay. i'm just ready to try this for, for for folks who want to come see you tell us where they can find your food truck and where they can get this delicious bowl from so we're going to be um tuesdays and fridays from four to seven mm -hmm. at 7033 airport boulevard in the fortis college parking lot um, we hardly ever move. If we do move, please follow us on Facebook at Craving the Flavor. We always post locations, time, menu, and all of that good stuff. Y'all come out and, you know, eat with us. Come taste the flavor. Ladies, oh, oh yeah, you got dirty hands. <laughs> yes, y'all. That's so, so good. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. I cannot wait to eat all of this by myself. Sorry, Michael. But we're going to have more about Craven de Flava on our website, fox10tv.com. But until then, I've got some fried rice to eat. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank you for having us.